Hello friends, welcome to Slide Hunt with the video tutorial on C++ programming. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to define a function outside the class definition. To get it more clearly, let's see an example. Here first we create a class, class student. Then a pair of curly bases and the class definition is terminated by a semicolon. Inside the curly bases, we have to write the class body. Here we use the public access specifier. So I'm going to write here public. And here I'm going to declare an integer type variable, int h. Next I'm going to declare here a function, void display. and then a pair of parentheses. Since the function display is not going to take any parameter, so leave it blank. Here we just declare the function display, not define it. We will define it outside the class. We can define a member function outside the class definition by using a scope resolution operator. To use a scope resolution operator, we need to type double colon. This is a scope resolution operator. To define a member function of a class outside the class definition, first we have to write the return type of the function, that is void. Then we need to specify the class name to which the function belongs, that is student. Then scope resolution operator. And then the function name, that is display. Then give here a pair of curly bases and inside the curly bases we have to write the function body. Here I am going to write C out my age is and here we refer age. So what we do here? Here we define the function display outside the class definition using the scope resolution operator and inside the curly bases we write the function body. Here the scope resolution operator indicates that the function display belongs to the class student. The next thing that we need to do create an object of class student. So I am going to write here student and then object name let's say John. Next we assign some values to the variable age so I'm going to write here John dot age equal to 26. Next we call the function display that is John dot display. Let's check the output build and run. As you can see here it print my age is 26. The next thing is we can't initialize the variable using scope resolution operator outside the class definition. For example, I am going to write here int student scope resolution operator age equal to 28. This initialization is incorrect so it will give an error. Let's check the output build and run. As you can see here it gives an error in student age is not a static member of class student. But if we declare this variable age as static then this initialization will be correct. So I am going to write here static. Let's check the output. Build and run. As you can see here it gives no error but it print age equal to 26 because when we initialize the age variable using an object then this value is overwritten but if we delete this initialization then we get age equal to 28 I am going to delete it and now check the output again build and run now it print my age is 28 that's it. Hope you understand. If you have any doubt, please comment on the video and if you have any suggestion, please tell us. Thanks for watching. To watch more videos, please subscribe this channel Slide Hunt.
You can like my Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash slide hunt and you can follow me on Google Plus at www.google.com slash plus slide hunt.